have this kind of myth or belief that coffee does cause dehydration. So in order to answer the specific question, we were interested in looking at how coffee can affect hydration status. We were looking at whether you could include coffee within your daily coffee requirement um, and that would provide the hydration you need or whether, as a popular belief was before, whether if you have coffee, you also have to have water to counterbalance that potential diuretic effect. So we took a population of males that drink coffee and we di directly compared it to water to look at how coffee might contribute to fluid requirement or how it might have a diuretic effect. We um, recruited our participants on the understanding that they habitually consume somewhere between two to 600 milligrams of caffeine, so in around three to six cups of coffee. So on average, we supplied around 300 milligrams of caffeine per day in four cups of coffee spread throughout the day. Okay. I do work with athletes and I often advise them to try using coffee or caffeine um, for its performance enhancing uh, capabilities. So I wouldn't necessarily tell all athletes to swap their water bottle for coffee but I think it can definitely be part of the hydration process. So we know that caffeine can increase cognitive functioning, um, so reaction time, decision making, because it, because it can cross the blood-brain barrier, but also that it can improve repeat sprint performance, endurance performance, 